How Cordillera was formed? How did it become a six-provinced region? Howdy everybody, welcome back to FTG Stages. This is your Igor Guy Freddy. How are you all? Kumusta kami pa kay Lians? Kumusta man nanti managis buyo? Shout out to Joel Ochas of Malikong Bontok Mountain Province, to Angelo Gabaen and Wilfred Basquiel. Thank you so much for your support. Without further ado, let's go! Before the advent of colonialism into what is known today as the Philippines, the people of this area were communities and villages of group of tribes. They had very little to none record of their culture, history, and territories, but early travelers and writers who came along with the first Spanish expeditions noted the proficiency of the natives in Baybayin, Sanskrit, Old Javanese, Old Malay, and several other languages. This is an example called Laguna Copper Plate Inscription that can be traced back in the year 900. It's a thin copper plate document measuring less than 8 by 12 inches in size. It shows Hindu-Malayan cultural influences present in the Philippines during the 10th century. When the Spanish colonization began in 1521, it was also the start of written records and accounts on Philippine history. The culture, the writings, and almost everything about the early Filipinos were erased and replaced with all Spanish influences. So Spain succeeded in subjugating most of the people of the island, which eventually became the Philippines. To make it simple, this is how the Philippine map would look like between the periods of 1521 to 1624. Artist Eduardo Pasawa shows a simplified Philippine map during the 16th to 17th century. The green color shows the places that Spain was yet to claim. The orange colors were the areas that were under Spanish expansions that would soon get claimed. The red or maroon were the areas that were totally claimed. Finally, the yellow-green area indicates that the place is unchartered. It means that the area was not given by the governing sovereignty of Spain with any authority and privileges, but it was named Región de la Cordillera. And why is that? Within the islands effectively colonized by Spain, there were communities that remained largely free and unconquered. These communities were the Moros of Mindanao in the south, the Aitas of central Luzon, and the Igorots of the north. Throughout the 300 years of Spanish colonization, these communities continued to enjoy independence by being able to practice their own systems and ways of life. From the start, the Spanish colonizers were interested in the gold of the Igorots, who were trading with their lowland partners, the Pangasinenses and the Ilocanos. The colonizers conducted several expeditions to the Cordillera but were effectively repulsed by strong Igorot resistance, the exact reason why it was uncharted during those periods. But if you notice this dot of green in the south of Cordillera, it was named Cafagway, which is now Baguio City. It was sighted by Spain but still unclaimed. Later on, it became the entry path for the Spanish to set up their station in Bua and Antamok, Itogon Benguet and also in Lipanto in their attempt to establish gold mines. But due to the Igorot resistance, they were short-lived. This is an actual Philippine map dating back in 1734 by Murillo Villarte, then 1785 and 1880. During these periods, the majority of the Cordillera remained independent. After 1898, the American regime began in 1900, the Second Philippine Commission was established. It was headed by William Howard Taft. William Howard Taft was suffering from obesity, and so he had health problems caused by the hot weather in Manila. 
Because of that, he sent someone to look for the cool area in the northern part of the country that they have heard from the Spaniards. The man who went to seek the area was Dean Conant Wooster. Wooster was the leading American expert during that time because he had been in the Philippines for quite a long time doing some extended zoologic studies during the Spanish era in 1877. Then Wooster arrived in La Trinidad Benguet. There he started his long and controversial career on studying Igorot people and culture while being a firm supporter of colonial mission. This was the old map of the Cordillera. It was composed of Apayao, Kalinga, Bontoc, Lipanto, Amborayan, and Benguet. Amborayan province, including Benguet, were once comandancias or under Spain claimantship. In 1907, the first Philippine Assembly was established. It was headed by Sergio Osmeña. Its purpose was for the Filipinos to participate in self-governance. Because of the Filipinos' determination to achieve self-governance, Dean Conant Wooster saw it as a threat to the American colonial mission. So in 1908, the Philippine Commission created the Mountain Province. It was due to the enactment of Act No. 1876, Ifugao, which was a part of Nueva Vizcaya, Amburayan, Apayao, Benguet, Bontoc, Kalinga, and Lipanto were annexed to be a single province called Mountain Province. These seven places became sub-provinces. The sole reason of the creation of this single province is to prevent the Philippine Assembly in succeeding for self-governance. Dean Conant Wooster made it sure that the Philippine Assembly could not touch the region. As long as the lowland Filipinos are separate from the people of the mountain province, the Philippines could not claim its independence. Because the Philippine Assembly by the Filipinos could not prove that all Filipinos are united as one. The division of the sub-provinces also was solely geographical and political. It was never based on tribes and languages. Take note that back then, the people of the Cordillera had no concept of tribes. It was all about belonging to a community, a village, or an area. An example of this is the Itneg language that is spoken in the province of Kalinga. This Itneg language is Banao. It's a language that is spoken by the people in the province of Balbalan in Barangay Balbalasang. Amburayan South Province was later abolished in 1920 and its corresponding territories were transferred into the provinces of Ilocos Sur and La Union. Lepanto South Province was also reduced in size and its towns were integrated into the sub provinces of Bontoc and Benguet and to the province of Ilocos Sur. After Philippine independence in 1966, the Mountain Province was abolished and due to Republic Act No. 4695, the Mountain Province was split and created four separate and independent provinces, namely Benguet, Ifugao, Kalinga Apayao, and Mountain Province. Ifugao and Kalinga Apayao were placed under Region 2 or the Cagayan Valley Region. Benguet and Mountain Province were placed under Region 1 or the Ilocos Region. In 1980, Cordillera Autonomy Movement was born as the people of the Cordillera began to build up a sense of Igorot identity due to the mainstream media focusing on them as a result of the death of the brave leader of the Butbut tribe of Kalinga, Makliing Dulag. On July 15, 1987, Executive Order 220 created the Cordillera Administrative Region. The provinces of Abra, Benguet, and Mountain Province from the Ilocos region and Ifugao and Kalinga Apayao from the Cagayan Valley region were taken back to create this Cordillera administrative region. On the other hand, despite of having majority of 
Igorot population at that time, the province of Nueva Vizcaya was not included and remained in Cagayan Valley region. On February 14, 1995, with Republic Act No. 788, Kalinga Apayao Province was split into two separate and independent provinces of Apayao and Kalinga. Several attempts were made for the autonomy of the Cordillera region but have failed. The first plebiscite in 1990 failed to collect majority votes. The second plebiscite in 1998 failed to pass the approval of the majority of the Cordillera people. In 2017, all provincial congressmen within the Cordillera jointly filed a new bill creating an autonomous Cordillera to call for Cordilleran unity, self-government to enjoy and preserve Igorot values and culture, control its own products and natural resources, and more. And this movement was publicly supported by President Rodrigo Duterte. This is now the present Cordillera, Cordillera Administrative Region. Six provinces, two cities, 1,797,660 population, nine major languages, and a number of dialects. And this is your Igorot guy, Freddy. I'm proud to be from the Cordillera. Matago tagot hom in, ungabagabay kutunumin, hagiyo, salamat, and we'll see you again on the next video. Cheers! Learn about the ancestors of the Cordillerans through this video.